Hey devs, my name is Mott, that is M-O-T, and I'm the creator of Dottie V. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to push to a different environment. Let's get started. So we've got our environment here, which is production, after we have created our development. In a prior video, we also set a key here. We did that through the UI. Now let's say we wanna manage this from our CLI for whatever reason, and we need to be able to push up those changes. So let's show you how to do that. So we know that our push command is this, right? And that looks for the development.env locally and pushes to the development environment. Now to, do, to run production, it's very similar. We just say push and then the environment name. So push production. All right, so we get an error because we don't have the production environment yet. So .invault is designed so you don't accidentally push your development environment up to production. So it expects it to be .env.production. There's a way to override that. I'll show you that in a second. You can send any file name you want to any environment you want. But first, let's do this. So let's pull down production. And that is also sim similar. It's just pull production. OK, so now we have our production values. And let's make a change. So we'll change this to say production. So hello, production. And let's push those changes up. Push production. All right, we securely pulled that. This is production. If I refresh the page, okay, there we go. So the production value is now there. So that is how you push to any other environment. You just append the environment name after the pull command. If you're wondering how to find this out, there's three ways. We have it in the docs on the GitHub CLI tool. So you can scroll down here. And you can look all the way down here to commands and then go to the push command. And you'll see there's an argument for environment. There's also an argument for file name. So that comes after the environment. We also have it under our docs. So you can come here to the left and go to the push command. And that'll show you further details with those arguments, and further examples. And then you can run the help command. So let's run that here npx.invault help push and that'll give you a reminder of okay I can push environment and then I can push file name so let's actually decide that for some reason we wanted to push the .env file to production right so I can run npx.invault push production .env that's still pretty dangerous so we have one other safety mechanism where if I try to run this it's going to say it's missing the environment comment. So what does that mean? We need to add a comment at the very top line of the file that is hashtag production. And if we look at the .env file, it says hashtag development along with the version, right? And if we look at the production .env file, it says hashtag production. So if I did come in here and decide to change this, instead of changing it, let me just move it to a different file. So other file, let's do that. We'll open it up under other file. I'll change this to production. I'll get rid of the version. Now, if I push this up, push production and the name of the file, other file, that should securely push. So it did come back and look at our UI. And now I've pushed all those values. So that gives you a nice overview of how you can push. It's very flexible. It's designed that way so that you can use it for automation, CI tools. A lot of companies that are using the .invault tool are using it in these kind of ways that are flexible. But we still have those security aspects there to make sure you don't accidentally push a development into production. All right, thank you for watching and have a great day.